Hello everyone and welcome back to the Redux Toolkit introduction. In this video, we're going to hook our store to the UI. We're going to dispatch some actions and we're also going to access the state so we can show our book list. So first, let's go to our library component here and let's create our book list from the from our Redux store state. So we're going to import use selector from react redux then we're gonna create a constant called book books is gonna we're gonna use selector which will give us the state and we're gonna return the state dot books dot books I believe I called it let's just check here real quick it's books dot books Great. Now with these, uh, with this book array, we're gonna do books table. It's gonna be books dot map. We're gonna get each book, and we're gonna return a table row from it with a td, which is gonna have the book dot title. Now let's just copy this three times. We're gonna get books author and book dot rating and then we also have to create the delete button for this so we're gonna have a button which is gonna have an x in it a class name of delete and an on click handler that will be this time we're gonna use an arrow function not like in the short example below which is gonna call the delete book handler and we're gonna give it the book dot id we're gonna create a book id when we add the the book and here if we go below we can delete this row with the dummy data and just put our book books table okay our data disappeared but we don't have any books yet so we have to first add add a book so we can uh, we can see it in our ui so let's go to the add book component here we're gonna import use this patch from react redux then we're gonna do const this patch equals use this patch and now when we want to dispatch a book uh, we want to add a book we will just have to dispatch an action so here in the add book handler we're gonna dispatch the add book uh, action and we gotta pass an object to it so this option will have, will have the title the author a rating and we gotta give it an id so for the moment we could just do something like because we don't have a, a database we could do something like math.random which will give us a semi-random id but as a better option of uh, doing this first let me import the add book because i will probably forget later so we're gonna get the add book from the store actions book actions okay a better option for doing the for, for having a random id is to install a, a library it's called nano id it's a really small library that will generate a random id so let's just do that so cd into our folder we're gonna npm install nano id now while we wait for this to install we're gonna import it nano id from 
non-yt. And instead of calling math.random, we're going to call nano-id. Now we have to wait for this to install and we're going to have to restart our development server. So the library installed, we're going to run npm start. And we have a new development server. Let's see everything installed correctly and we don't have any errors. So no errors here. And what if in the console? Great. So now we can dispatch actions. Let's see if that works. So we're gonna open the Redux dev tools, write something in our app and we actually got the selector work, the use selector worked. We have table rows, a table row here if we add another book. And we can see here on the right, our actions were dispatched with the name we have given to them. Great. Now, the last thing we have to do is to also make the delete button work. So we will go back into the library. We'll also get the use dispatch here we're gonna instantiate it dispatch oh, i have to add it before okay so now here instead of this comment we're gonna dispatch the delete book with an object that will have the id and I have to import the delete book from our store. Great. So we added that. Let's refresh the app and see if that works. So the add book works. We can click the delete button and the book disappears and the action is dispatched. So seems like what we did was right. Great. So this was the replacement for the common actions and the reducers. Now in the next video, we'll look at the slightly better approach. It will uh, reduce our code in quite a significant way. And we won't have to deal with separate folders and separate files for reducers and actions anymore. Thank you all for joining. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.